Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Happy here. Now today we're going to be talking about something very special. We're going to be talking about what I think is going to happen after Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm so flattered! Okay guys, so this is something that I've been thinking about for a while. Exactly what is going to happen after we finally get Kingdom Hearts 3. I honestly think that we're gonna get some type of smaller game before Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out. As you guys know, we have around 3 or 4 smaller games that we have between Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3. So I think that we're gonna get at least one or two smaller games. One of those smaller games could be the story between Master Sayonor and Master Arrakis. Yes, the very beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3, we're gonna get to play allegedly as Master Master Ericus, I believe, or Master Saiyan, or one of them, but we're definitely gonna get to play out that very first scene that you see right here in the background. I think within that scene, we're actually going to play the whole story about Master Ericus and Master Saiyanord's master, technically. We're gonna get to see, you know, a whole bunch of worlds that we haven't seen before. Because, again, this takes place somewhere between the Keyblade War and Kingdom Hearts 1. So this is more of a prequel. And this will take place even before Birth by Sleep. So, you gotta think about it that way, you know, somewhere in between there. Uh, we may find out the origins of a couple of things, like the origins of the Heartless. We may find, you know, um, worlds that we've never seen before, as I just said before, like we may finally see destiny island for what it is because all we got to see from destiny island is this that you see right here which is the part that we're so familiar with that we're used to seeing over and over again but in kingdom hearts 2 we did get to see a little bit more of destiny island where we actually got to see Kyrie go to a school she was dressed like a schoolgirl, along with selfie and all of that you know so i know that there's a lot more to destiny islands as, as well as we've seen um Sora's mom call out for him in his room so we know again that there's something about Destiny Island, that that world, what, what exactly it is and all of that. And we know that originally Saiyanor came from Destiny Island. So that would be really great to see exactly his origin, who his parents were, exactly what is going on with him and all of this. Amongst that, I would also like to see like the origins of Aqua and Terra because a lot of the times we just know, we just take it for granted that hey, this is Aqua, this is Terra, and they're with Master Ericus. We know that Ericus was training Aqua and Terra. We don't know how he found Aqua and Terra. We don't know anything really about Aqua and Terra before that point. So I want to know exactly how Ericus somehow got his hand on Aqua and Terra. We know that Ventus is a young boy that was taken in by Saiyanor. Well, there you go again. Another story that we could find out exactly how the Saiyanor get his hands on this little boy and why he's so special that he can use the Keyblade and why Aqua and Terra are special as well that they can use the Keyblade. Like exactly the whole storyline. So something that I could see happening after Kingdom Hearts 3, okay? So the other thing that I think is gonna happen, and this is, again, another game, it will be the game about all the hidden masters. You know the lost masters. They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Or whatever they said in the thing, you know, all oh, the masters, yada, yada, yada. Yes, I think it will have to do something with them, either them or, or the five foretellers. It will be one or the other. We could have either a video game about the five foretellers and their masters, or we could have a video game about the hidden masters that I don't know if it's going to be incorporated into Kingdom Hearts 3 again, because we still haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3. But again, we don't know anything about these things. So it could be something like that. Guys, these are my honest and true feelings about what's going to happen after Kingdom Hearts 3. I want to know exactly what do you guys think is going to happen after Kingdom Hearts 3. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video, okay? Helps out the channel big time. And share this video if you can. Finally, subscribe to the channel for your latest and most up-to-date information about Square Enix. Guys, remember, no matter how hard it gets, you got to stay happy. Ratata! Have a nice day. Yeah.